Hello, my dear friend. Today, my topic will be the absolute Tao. If you know the Tao De Jing, Tao De Jing, an ancient philosophic and Taoism book by Lao Tzu, around sixth century BC, that almost 2,600 years ago by a wise man. His name is Lao Tzu. So it's uh, 5,000 words in Chinese character. And this book is only secondary to the Bible in terms of the volumes of publication are printed in books. Tao De Jing has been influenced the whole China, also the East Asia for a long, long time. So today, let's talk about it. Try to ponder the true meaning behind the Tao, behind the Du. So the first chapter, the first sentence of Tao De Jing is said like, the Tao that, that can be told of is not the absolute Tao. I repeat, the Tao that can be told of or said, being said, is not the absolute Tao. So what is Tao? Why it cannot be said? It's a very, very profound question. Because for all the humanity, all the scientists, all the philosophers, they are looking for the truth behind the material world, behind the phenomena. They are pondering behind all these phenomena and material world is any any absolute truth that is not changing is always the same that's the meaning of truth right the truth is that it never changed over time it never changed over space it never changed by who said it who experienced it who interpreted it interpreted. That's the truth. It's unshakable truth or the Tao influenced by nobody, no person, no space, no time. It's always there, it was there and it will be there. And it will be here, there and everywhere. That's the truth. So give you an analogy or simile is that the gravitation, the gravity, the gravitational pull. So if you experience, everybody experienced the, the gravity, right? So the gravity is everywhere. It could be, it doesn't matter where, which city you are living in. You may live in New York or Mumbai or Shanghai or Tokyo or any city. It's applied to everywhere on planet Earth, not only on planet Earth, but also on Moon, on Sun, on whole solar system, whole Milky Way, and all the stars, planets, and galaxies. See, 
about 400 years, 400 years ago, Mr. Newton, Isaac, Isaac Newton, found this absolutely truth. When the apple hit his head, see how wonderful it is of this discovery. It's not only applied to all the, I mean, microscopic uh, level, I mean, planet, Earth, and galaxies, but also applies to subatomic level. Even though at subatomic level, the gravity is very weak, very, very weak, comparing to strong force or the electromagnetic force is very weak. That's the ratio between the gravity and uh, the strong force. Maybe a good uh, analogy is you use a drop of water comparing the entire ocean. It's in that ratio. It's infinite smaller than the strong force. Okay. Some like scientific background so in that term gravity is a is a truth that applies to everything everybody every matter okay it's over time and space in the same way the Tao is just a name that pointing to that choose which apply to everybody, every space, every time, every being, everything and every nothing. There's one only condition is that that thing or that nothing is made of matter, atoms. Now scientists find the dark matter or dark energy maybe gravity does not apply to that stuff but it's not our topic today gravity gravity is just to give you a sense of what to choose is it's over time space over any it doesn't matter who said it okay or who discovered it who experienced it or not experienced it it's always there that's the truth. So the Tao is a name that pointing to a fundamental truth, even funda even more fundamental than gravity. So if I use a um, scientific word now, the Tao is equal to the grand unified universal field. In which all the laws of nature, all the forces of nature, all the matter, information, data, energy comes from that grand unified field and they disappear into that grand unified field. It is not a far away, it's not an abstract concept it my dear friend at this moment you you are coming from that grand unified field and in very vibration very fast vibrations you disappear to into that grand unified field and appear again and disappear again appear again disappear again it's uh, it's so fast that you don't feel it. As Nassim Harriman said, it cancels in all directions and you, you don't know it. They, and also it's in, in such a small scale of perspective that we don't notice it. Just like we don't notice a bacteria in our skin because it, it, it was such a small scale. 
and the Planck scale, which is the, the smallest structure of space-time, is much, much smaller than bacteria. So that's why we don't experience this grand unified field. But my dear friend, you are made of or coming from this field and will disappear into and show up again, disappear again, appear again. It's a constant appearance, disappearance, and in a very, very fast speed than your and my imagination. Since we are kind of off topic, so the Tao that cannot be named, that can be named, is not internal Tao. Why, when it cannot be said, why the absolute Tao or the, abs the absolute truth cannot be said? Because of the following. Listen very carefully. I have to give you an analogy again. Suppose you're looking at a city map of your city, no matter which city you're living in, okay? You're looking at the map of your city, and your house or your room, your apartment is right at the center of this map, no matter it's a small one or big one, but your room or your house is at the center of this map. So a map is a two-dimensional projection from three-dimensional world, right? So a two-dimensional map is a condensed, limited, uh, very condensed or uh, like you, when you are on a computer, if you have hundreds, thousands of files, you will zip it into a condensed file, like pack it in a condensed file bundle, one bundle, but it contains uh, thousands or hundreds of different files, um, files, documents, but it's in one bundle now. So it's like the map is same thing, it's, it's a condensed, a zipped information of a higher dimension, which is three-dimensional world. Now you're looking at the map, your house, your room is at center. So this map expressed any more information than the location and the geography, geographical location? No, it only shows where you are and the scale of your room or your roads comparing the whole city. Same thing is here. When I say Tao, the Tao is a name that contained huge, infinite information, infinite information, matter, um, data, and energy. It's that stuff. Now I want to express it. I have to use one name. And even this name, as Lao said, I was for he was forced to use a name to express it. So he used he create he create this word Da to name that unnameable or undescribable, indescribable stuff, the grand unified field. So in this simple name, Tao, it contains infinite information, matter, and energy. So in this way, in this understanding, the Tao that cannot, can be said of, can be told of, is not the absolute Tao. Just as a map, a point in this map does not say anything about your three-dimensional room, 
your three dimensional house. See if you're looking, if you're sitting in the room, how many atoms are, are presented in front of you? A TV, a table, a cell phone, a computer, human, I mean your family member, a picture, you know, so many atoms are in front of you now. Can it expressed in a map? It's a dot in that map, a small two-dimensional dot. Can that dot express your your feeling and experience in a three-dimensional room with so many objects around you and a family member around you? No. In that term, the ratio of information, energy, and data between a dot and you, the room, I mean, the experience you are in this room, in this house, the ratio between the dot and the real experience in this house is infinite small, smaller, sorry. It's like comparing to a drop to an entire ocean in that ratio. So that's why the first sentence in such a profound philosophical, religious, scientific book of Tao Te Ching. It said the Tao that it can be told of is not the absolute Tao. And the name that can be given of is not the absolute name. The second phrase of Tao Te Ching. The names, okay, I will just repeat the two sentences. These two sen if you understand these two sentences, the whole Tao Te Ching you will understand. The Tao that can be told of is not the absolute Tao. The names that can be given is not absolute names. It's like when you want to allow the author of Tao Te Ching to express something that is indescribable, inexpressible, his first sentence is, okay, I'm just trying. You ask me to tell to say something which is inexpressible. Then I have to condense or compress or zip all my understanding, all my knowledge and wisdom into very limited version of words, very limited version of data, information, energy in words. That's the Lao Tzu said. It's like I, the first sentence he wants to say, you are asking me to achieve the mission impossible in words. And the funny it funny it is that the funny thing it was that he was allowed to, was forced to write this book. 2,600 years ago by 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 an um, I don't say by official by officer an administrative officer in in the government at that time who admired him who admire his wisdom and Lao Tzu was like semi imprisoned in the house, in the in location, and he was asked, he was forcefully asked, required by this administrative officer to write something down to pass his wisdom and knowledge 
to the next generations. Maybe that's why he's, at his first sentence of this book, he said, the Tao that can be named is not eternal Tao or the absolute Tao. The names that can be given is not the absolute names. You see, here, in the same way, I'm trying to express this unexpressible or inexpressible. And maybe you, my dear friend, you're trying to comprehend this Tao, which is beyond comprehension. <laughs> very, very paradoxical thing. Yes, that's why in last sessions, or in weeks ago maybe, I asked, maybe now I can still ask you a question. If you want to give your best friend, your best friend, a present to show your love, to show your gratitude to him or her, but there's one condition. You cannot read or write or say something. You cannot do something to show your gratitude and love for him or her, what are you going to do? What's your option? You cannot write, you cannot do, you cannot draw something. What are you going to do to show your love to her? But this love is contained in your heart, you see. And you are allowed, allowed to express in six senses how to express yourself that huge love and gratitude to him or her. It's a mission impossible, right? Almost, almost a mission impossible. And now, my dear friend, Lao Tzu, this wise man, philosopher, the founder of Taoism, try to express something to you through a convenient way. And he put his convenient way is in his words, the Tao is his huge love, huge compassion to you, to me, to everybody. Can you feel it? Can you feel the inexpressible love and compassion from this simple word, Tao? You see, he zipped, compressed his love and compassion to one word, Tao. Can you unzip it? It's like when you receive a file, zip the file, you have to unzip it, right? To read, to read through these words, to study the mind and the heart behind these words. That's the capability of unzipping. <laughs> Lao Tzu zipped his love and compassion and wisdom in, in Tao, the 5,000 character books. Sorry, 5,000 characters book. It's one book. Can you read it? Do you have the wisdom to unzip it? Do you have, same thing is, same thing is, do you have the wisdom to unzip the Bible?
Do you have the pure heart and mind to read the love, compassion, wisdom from God, from Jesus, from Lao Tzu, from Kong Tzu, from Allah? Anything you can name. Do you have that stability, clarity? Luminosity, purity, simplicity, singularity. Also, the complexity, the diversity, the dynamics. Do you have all this power to read it? All the sages teaching. If you do, my dear friend, congratulations. You are with them right now at this moment, beyond space time. Okay, let's take one minute of silence to enjoy this infinite love wisdom, compassion from all the sages, no matter what's his or her name, anyone that inspired you, a sage, a god, a beloved one, a person, an animal, anything that inspired you, please decode, decode it, receive that love, compassion and wisdom, Okay, that's all for today. Be in the Tao. Become the Tao. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye now.